to our LGBT workshop. What we're going to be doing today is testing your knowledge of LGBT plus terminology, what each of the letters in that acronym stand for, and also your knowledge of some flags that you might see around at Pride. The first question we want you to think about is what do each of the letters stand for in the acronym? So LGBTQ and plus. What do they all stand for? What do the letters stand for? And also why might there be a plus on the end? What might that symbolise? These key terms we have discussed, along with others that we haven't discussed yet, can be sorted into two different categories. You've got sexual orientation or gender identities. Now, what we want you to do is think to yourself, out of all of these key terms, are they a sexual orientation or a gender identity? So now we're going to look at flags. Most people recognise the rainbow flag and will associate that with the LGBT plus community. But there are also loads of other flags that the individual identities use and you'll see them around a pride parade. So what we want to know is how many of them can you name? version of the rainbow flag that had a black and brown stripe added to it was designed. We want to know why do you think that happened and why do you think there was some criticisms against that? <laughs> 